Hey guys, Caleb with White Metal Games here, and I got a special treat for you today. We just had a Storm Eagle come through the studio. It's the first Storm Eagle we've ever assembled, and this is phenomenally known as a very tricky kit to assemble, mostly because the resins like to warp, um, and Forge World has some dynamic kits out there, but when you spend that extra money, you really want to make sure that they uh, are assembled well and they're painted well. So we had someone contact us. Normally he paints his own stuff, but in this particular case, uh, he wanted sort of a showpiece, something that was really dynamic. Because the Storm Eagle is such a nice model, he wanted it to stand out on the table. So we sent us some detailed painting notes, and uh, this is what we came up with. So a few notes. First off, this uh, project um, only took us about four weeks to turn around, um, and that's because we had other stuff in our cube in front of this, so it was a nice quick project. Um, the assembly was probably one of the, the slowest parts of this thing, just because there is there is some warping to this kit, particularly the bulkheads and the side panels warped quite a bit. In order to treat those, you have to use a heat gun and work very slowly, very patiently. Now we went for a very subtle highlighting effect on this model. Um, red is one of those colors that I feel like you really got to work carefully with. So we took our time and we applied many, many layers to this model. Um, and the result is that the top layers are much lighter than some of the side layers, but it looks very, very natural uh, to the eye, which I thought came out pretty well. Uh, there are certain areas on this model uh, that, that really pop. We, we like to sort of find certain things that we can emphasize on details like OSL and uh, effects. So for example, around these vent areas, we so did some soot on there to make it look sort of blackened as though um, there's a lot of fumes and exhaust coming out of those. Um, on the sides here, you can see quite a bit of OSL. We've got some OSL here on these lights. We've got some, uh, uh, not OSL really, but heat damage or heating effects on these Vtrol engines on the back. And also on the small engines here on the side, a little hard to see. This is a second uh, company Blood Angels vehicle, so it's got a nice yellow banner there. Um, this was noted by the client. He was very specific in terms of a chapter, and so we wanted to please him to our best ability, so we were able to do that. Uh, we've got a nice glazing effect here to tent the canopy. Now, the canopy's been left off for the purpose of this video so that you can see that the interior of this thing is painted, so it looks nice and sharp. Um, in order to get those nice crisp, crisp details, we had to paint this guy out of the can canopy and then move him back into the cockpit. Uh, once the model was painted up. Uh, this guy is also fully uh, magnetized. Now this comes off currently because it hasn't been, uh, the canopy hasn't been put in there. But once the canopy is glued down, this will swizzle in place. And then these are magnetized. Um, in addition, all of the uh, regular weapon options are also magnetized. Let's see if I can't do this one-handed without knocking this guy off. Oh, there we go. And you'll see we've got other magnet options. That just locks in place. Yeah, a little tricky one-handed, but you can get the general idea there. Um, in addition, um, the landing gear has also been magnetized. Um, so that when he's flying, he doesn't have to use it. And when he wants to put it on the ground, he can just flop it on its landing gear and it'll set still in place. Uh, both of the bays open and they are painted in, on the interior as well. Uh, I, I'm not going to try that with one hand just because I don't want to <laughs> knock this guy off his pedestal. Uh, it's a very heavy model, um, which I, I like, but it's one of those things that it's a big bulky model. So just be aware of that. If I had it to do again, I probably would move this a little closer to the center. Um, so it doesn't knock over quite as much, or you know, it does. There's not as much risk there. It stands pretty, pretty still. But most of the flyers that I've encountered, you want to put this thing towards the back, not towards the center. Um, I think it's a mistake to center it most of the time um, due to the weight. And my thought with this one was, because he's so long, this would make more sense. But in reality, the butt of this model is very, very heavy, um, so it tends to to lean back a little bit. Um, so that'll be something that in future models we would move that forward. Um, but despite that, overall, very successful model, very, very sharp on the table, looks good, fully assembled, fully magnetized, fully painted. This is a level three standard. This is what we call our elite standard. Normally we don't really do this sort of thing for vehicles, but because it was a show piece and he wanted it to look really, really nice and sharp, we went ahead and spent a little extra time on it, just lavished up all the details. Um, so this is just one example of the sorts of projects that come through the studio. And, uh, you know, if you're interested in having a commission done, just contact us at info at whitemetalgames.com. Um, and we've always got, you know, different stuff rolling through the studio, so be sure to check back on our, on our channel weekly if you can. Um, just subscribe to our channel here or follow one of the many links to one of our other media channels like Facebook or Google Plus uh, or any of those. We also blog regularly through Bella Lost Souls. 
through spiky bits or through our personal blog at whitemetalgames.blogspot.com. So just stay informed, keep in the loop, and we will keep you up on all of our latest studio happenings. Um, we're hard at work right now on um, some future projects, some display projects for some of our upcoming conventions. Uh, but uh, hopefully we're going to be working on those over the winter so that as soon as the year, new year rolls around, we'll have lots of new stuff to show you. But uh, that's about it for now. So until next time, put your minis where your mouth is.